All right, so as you guys might be able to tell, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting situation in my new studio. Um, I just feel like my face is a little bit too bright or there's too much contrast, too much saturation. I'm not really sure. Maybe it looks fine to you guys, so definitely let me know in the comments about that. But uh, I'm trying like different placements of the lights, uh, trying different settings in OBS, and I don't think I've quite found the perfect combination yet, but hopefully we'll uh, get that sorted out soon. Anyways, in this video, we are going to be taking on the newest Extreme Super Battle Road stage on Global, which is uh, Goku's family only. This is the team we're going to be using. We got the double LR Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, the uh, Tech LR Bird Coup, the newly awakened Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, and Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku, and finally, the uh, Fizz Super Saiyan Goku, or Super Saiyan Xeno Goku, or support. So that is the setup. I feel like this team is going to do just fine. So without further ado, we're going to jump in here. And did my face get brighter as I was talking? <laughs> I swear when I started recording, it was like kind of bright, but not this bright. And now it feels like it's extra bright. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, so... um. We do have two Super Saiyan 4s together, which is good, but I think what I want to do is eventually get Super Saiyan 4 Bardock and Super Saiyan 4 Gohan together, and then the two uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus together. So, yeah, this should be fun. We'll put the Bird Coup in the first slot. Let's pop a Icarus just to be safe, because these guys obviously hit very, very hard. And that's going to be a nice 18 key super for Bird Coup. That's going to be, yeah, 18 key for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then a Super for Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. All right, here we go. Of course, we get Supered immediately. I'm glad I used the Icarus. Um, not as bad as it could have been, right? <laughs> not as bad as it could have been. Without the Icarus, we probably would have taken 250 to 300k. We still took 150k, which is a lot of damage. But we can live with that. We can definitely live with that. Okay, so... Wow, Vegeta's still alive. Interesting. Well, uh, I think if Bardock gets a crit, we should still kill. Yeah, so that was a guaranteed crit, right? I'm pretty sure that was a guaranteed crit. Okay, so on this rotation, let's put the... Yeah, let's float the Super Saiyan Goku. And yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan is going to take no damage. I love these two new Awakenings guys. They're so, they're just so good. The Bardock and the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, especially the Gohan actually, especially the Gohan because this guy just takes no damage. He, he gets 50% damage reduction and he also gets a good amount of defense. So you combine those two and he's just... Like, literally one of the best tanks in the game. It's actually pretty wild how good he is. And that's without an Extreme Z Awakening too. So, like, imagine next year, for our next Heroes collab, we get that Extreme Z Awakening for Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a good time. That's going to be a really good time. Okay, so now we have the two Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. Um, I should probably put the LR there just because of type advantage. Or rather, to not have type disadvantage. Oh, actually? Hold on. Is he stunned? I think... Oh, King Vegeta's stunned. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, so don't have to worry about a super there. And... One way or another, we should kill King Vegeta. On this turn. Especially if this is a crit. If it's not a crit, probably not much damage. But if it is a crit... Hmm... Well, either way, this should do it. This should do it. Yo, I get so distracted right now when I'm trying to film a video because I just keep staring at my face and, like, I, I find that the brightness actually, like, changes, you know? Like, sometimes it's super bright and then sometimes it's kind of dark. So I need to do something about that. It's probably a setting in OBS that I need to change. But, yeah, you guys must notice it too, right? Like, just go back a little bit in the video. And you'll see like my face was darker, and then it got brighter, and then it got really bright, and then it got a little bit darker, 
it's just annoying me, man. Because I want everything to be perfect in the new house, you know, in the new studio. So, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So Icarus, once again, even though for Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, he really doesn't need the Icarus. It's the Bardock and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku that concern me a little bit more. So for their benefit, purely for their benefit, not for the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, you gotta use the Icarus. But Gohan, if he takes like two supers, doesn't even matter. He doesn't take damage. This man just took 92 damage. Even without the Icarus, he probably would have taken... I would guess a couple thousand at most, you know, like he maybe would have taken 5 to 10k, which is essentially nothing. Alright, Bardock, give me that double super. Well, at least we got a tax effective, right, because we're over 9, no, uh, 80%, but we have to be 90% or more to, uh, to get the guaranteed crits, which is hard to do on Super Bad Road, unless you're healing with items, right, which we're not yet. Um, I'm gonna try to not use any items aside from the damage reduction ones, which I think is very possible with this team. Especially if we're like killing, you know, one um, enemy every turn, right? So yeah, let's try to get Gohan, or sorry, get uh, Trunks out of here this turn, and then we can move on to the last phase. Not sure how many enemies there are there. That could actually mess up our plans to, you know, not use any healing items. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, see, my face got darker now. My face got darker now compared to before. What's up with that? What's up with that? I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I just gotta ignore it. Just gotta pretend it's not a thing. It's hard, but... I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. I can do it. Okay. Second fight done. Easy. Last one on the way. I think it's a combination actually of like my settings along with the uh, placement of the lights, right? Because right now I have them placed different from what I had it in my previous studio. But the layout of the room is different too, so I have to make adjustments. So we'll see. We'll see. It's fine. Um, Alright, so let's pop the Whis. That is only our third item so far, an all damage reduction item so far. And yeah, let's try to kill the little trunks here this turn, and then we'll get Vegeta out of here next turn, and then we're good. Two turn every single fight so far, I think. Did I, did I, did I take three turns for the first phase, or no? I forgot, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. And another super here. I think this is with type disadvantage too. Oh, never mind. They're both in. Okay, my bad. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, just not taking damage. Just not taking any damage at all, man. Like, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And I love this rotation. The Super Saiyan 4 Bardock and the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan together are just it's perfect, man. It's just perfect. Okay, so we actually got a little bit extra damage on Vegeta this turn. It was basically nothing though, let's be honest. And, okay, here we go. So we can't get a 24 key super, or an 18 key super even, with uh, the friend Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but my Super Saiyan 4 Goku does get an 18 key super. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to kill Vegeta actually. I might need a third turn, which is shameful. It's really shameful. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will, uh, will will allow me this one time. But yeah, uh, as a whole, like I said, this team is doing great uh, defensively and offensively. And uh, didn't really run into any issues on this run. You know, it's been pretty chill. It's been pretty chill. And we get an additional super here and just call it a day or well that's it okay so i will have to use one more attack but i think it's appropriate actually that we let the mvp of this run finish things off and that of course is a super saiyan 4 gohan so here we go one more super saiyan 4 gohan attack and that's going to be goku's family only 
Extreme Super Battle Road. Oh, this is without an item. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we take a lot more damage than I thought. A lot more damage than I thought without an item. That is crazy. That is crazy. I thought it was going to be a couple thousand. Like I said, I was like, yo, 10k, maybe 15k, 20k at most. Not quite the case. Not quite. Did we have our defense lowered? Maybe that's what it is, man. Maybe our defense was lowered from before. And that's why we took so much damage. Because I can't really comprehend why Super Saiyan 4 Gohan took that much damage on a super attack. We still survived, which is great. You know, like, it's not like got one shot or anything like that, but that was almost 50% of our HP in that one super. And I just expected more from Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just thought he was impenetrable, but apparently he is a little bit penetrable. Anyways, um, that is the, the video, guys. <laughs> I really need to think about, like, the words in my mind before I say them out loud. That's what gets me in trouble sometimes, but it doesn't matter. That's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, good luck on your attempts, and uh, let me know what team you used. If you use a similar team, then you should be fine, right? If you use a similar team to this one, because as you saw, this team just crushes, but um, I don't even think that the bird coup was necessary here. I had him here just in case I needed the revival skill, but you know, with Super Saiyan 4 Gohan as like one of your main tanks and everyone else having some pretty good defense, uh, you don't really need the revival skill. And um, yeah, of course, with Goku's family, it's just a really crazy category. So like, you got a lot of options. You got a lot of options. Anyways, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Hopefully by the next one, I'll have my lighting issues sorted out. Um, and, uh, oh, of course, if you're new here, uh, sub to the channel, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media.